So this year we presented the phase two results of cord blood derived natural killer cells for myeloma. And this is a 10 year going project that I started as a first year fellow when I was working in EJ Falls lab. And we were trying to understand how we could kill myeloma with immunotherapy. And at the time, there really wasn't very much immunotherapy for myeloma, certainly not cellular therapy. But we knew preclinically that NK cells can kill myeloma. And we knew that some patients had had a durable response with allogeneic stem cell transplant. Not all, but a few. And so that suggested that there was maybe some allogeneic graft versus myeloma disease or effect. And because of that, we wanted to develop NK cells. And in particular, we wanted an off the shelf source of NK cells. So we started looking at cord blood as a source for NK cells. It's, it's a good source for hematopoietic and immune effector cells, which is a great find. And I spent most of my fellowship trying to figure out how to get a significant expansion of those itty bitty cells from that itty bitty cord to be enough to give to a patient and we were able to do this and show that when we expanded these cells they actually were very active and they were able to kill myeloma which was important. So we started out uh, from going to the bench, literally then to the bedside, and we were able to take this expansion protocol and have GMP validation under the direction of my mentor, EJ Spall. And afterwards, we were able to do a phase one first in human study for patients with myeloma. And that was published last year in the British Journal of Hematology. And in that trial, patients got a standard transplant-based chemotherapy of melphalan 200 milligrams per meter square, and they also got a low dose of lenalidomide and also cord blood NK cells. And that study showed the safety and feasibility of doing this because it really hadn't been done before. And we didn't know if there would be graft versus host disease or graft rejection, but ultimately a dose of one times 10 to the eighth cord blood NK cells per kilo was deemed safe and we moved on to the phase two trial. And that's what was presented at this year's ASCO. There were 33 patients in this trial and the point of it was to really understand if the NK cells added, added any benefit to standard transplants. So with the same Melphalan 200 conditioning regimen, we again gave NK cells two days later in the context of a very low dose lenalidomide.